backstage at Derek Lamb. Let's talk to the designer about his latest collection for spring 2006. Well, congratulations. What an extraordinary collection. Uh, the dresses were so romantic and light. I mean, just Thank beautiful, you. just beautiful. As well as having your show on this day, you had a wonderful article in the Wall Street Journal today. What did you think about that? The Wall Street Journal, when it covers fashion, it, it covers it from such a unique and special perspective. And um, amazing to be on the cover. I mean, how many young companies can say they achieved that? So uh, amazing, and especially on the day of my show. Well, you have worked so hard. I mean, uh, this is this has been a long time in coming. I mean, I'm sure that this is going to open up doors, not only for more stores and more press, but uh, you've worked so hard to get to this point. This is uh, your third or fourth year that you presented. This would be our third year that we presented. So we've had six shows. Um, it's seems like. When you say it in words, it's, it's a very short period in time, but it has been an incredible journey. Yes, some hard work, but also a lot of fun and um, to meet amazing people who are as dedicated to fashion as I feel I am is really the greatest experience. Well, this is just a, such a beautiful collection. You had all these gorgeous dresses that were um, you know, made of petals and chiffon. Uh, you had these gorgeous uh, gauze dresses. I mean, tell us a little bit about some of the ideas behind this collection. It was really trying to capture youthful, slightly naive innocence, but still sensual. So I really wanted the idea that clothing was floating on her, that she was almost hovering above ground, you know idealizing that perfect, perfect beach girl that everybody kind of falls in love with but is a slightly unattainable. And that to me was the, the spirit of the collection. Uh, some, of the, some of the pieces that we saw were voluminous and just sort of skimming the body. Uh, just a really unique silhouette, you know, very um, uh, full skirts, a lot of full skirts. Uh, tell me, what kind of silhouette do you think is really important for spring, particularly in your collection? I think definitely we're still in a movement towards volume. But most, most important to me is really allowing a woman who wears my clothes to be natural in her gestures. So hence, I really love the fabrics to just float around her body so that she never feels um, the dress is wearing her. She is wearing the dress she chooses to express her beauty and charm. Well, it's so exciting also that you've been nominated for the Dallas Fashion Award this year at the World Trade Center. Yes, I'm very, very excited about going to Dallas. I haven't been in, I would say, 15 years, and uh, what an amazing way to kind of visit it again. You have some stores in Dallas, and uh, st can you tell us about some of the stores that carry your collection? Well, in Dallas particularly, we have 4510, who has been uh, an amazing supporter. All, I think they were there from the very first season. Um, they really have amazing brands in there, and to be represented in their store is like incredible. Um, in terms of Overall, in the nation, it's, uh, we're in some Saks and Neiman's, Barney's, New York, um, and some amazing, really kind of great specialty stores like Louis Boston that um, really kind of bring fashion from New York, which is a little kind of a hot house of crazy fashion sometimes, but really brings um, something special to everywhere in the nation. Congratulations again, Derek. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you.